Hey guys. Okay, so here's F14. This is my third take. So I already have some writing down. Um, so F14, so we're going to find the indicated slope. So um, the, the big thing about implicit differentiation is that it allows to us to find the slope of the tangent line to a graph of something that's not a function. If you remember from the past, a function is um, something, is like a relation that has for every input, there is a, exactly one output. For, an ex, for example, like a circle, you know, is not a function. All right, a circle is not a function because like for this input here, we have an output above and below, um, above and below. And there used to be a thing that you learned called the vertical line test for a graph. Like if a vertical line hits the graph in more than one spot, then it's not a function because that implies that, you know, there's X values that have more than one Y value. All right. And, um, okay, so um, there's this, you know, website or app called Desmos that I heard some of you talking about in class. And I used Desmos to uh, take this equation and I just typed it in and this is the graph of it. All right, that's the graph of what it looks like. So, um, you know, we, it's, it's symmetric and it looks like here, it looks like that's like curved on, on both sides, like kind of curved, but then it almost looks like a straight line. I'm not sure if it is. I think if we zoomed in enough, we would see that there is some curve to it, but it looks, looks like a straight line. So, so this is the graph of this. Okay. You could see that it's not a function. Okay. Because there's inputs that have more than one output an output above and below the input. Um, and what they're asking us to do right here, uh, to, they want us to find dy dx evaluated at, that's what this line means, evaluated at the point negative 5, 4. Um, now, because they're asking us to find dy dx, they are implying that y is equal to y of x. So y depends on x. So x is the input, y is the output. So this means we need a y prime after a y because we're actually going to do chain rule on the y derivatives. And the y prime is the derivative of the inside. Um, okay, so uh, let's just try to visualize. So negative 5, 4. All right, so there's negative 5. And notice this input negative 5 has two outputs on the graph. But they're asking us to find the slope of the tangent line to the graph up here. And again, it looks like a straight line, but like here's my tangent line. So I want to find, you know, the, the slope of that. That is the derivative, is the slope of that tangent line. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it, you know, using calculus. So we've got to take the derivative of every term of this. Um, so the derivative of negative x is negative one. The derivative of this is negative 6x plus. What's the just the normal derivative of 5y squared? It's 10y, but then you multiply it by y prime. Okay, now here's the thing, guys. You're used to, in the previous phases, at this point, solving for whatever prime. So you're used to solving for y prime at this point. You could do that. However, what they want us to do in order to find the slope of the tangent line to this point, or to find the slope of this, of this tangent line, what we need to do is plug in negative five and four for X and Y. You should do it right now and then solve for Y prime. That tends to be a lot easier. This is not too, too bad, but that in the future will be a lot easier than solving for Y prime first and then plugging in the X or Y. So if it's a problem like this, where you've got implicit differentiation, but you're plugging in some actual coordinates to find an actual numerical slope, this is the point at which you want to plug in for x and y. All right, so in for x is negative 5, in for y is 4. All right, so this ends up being negative 1 is 30 plus 40y prime. 
All right, so we get 40y prime equals what? Negative 31. Okay, equals um, negative 31 over 40. All right, so this is this, this gives us y prime at negative by four. And um, you know, that's a pretty steep, is it steep? No, it's less than one. That slope is less than one. So it's, I guess it's not super steep. But, um, but yeah, and I think if we took the time and we just used like, you know, rise over run or got two points, you know, on this line, you know, we would, we would end up with that. I'm not going to take the time to do that, but here's using calculus instead of the graph. Okay, now let's do this one. So dy dx, so we're finding dy dx evaluated at x equals 2. Uh, now this one, they actually gave us a single, like an actual point, um, but like both coordinates, but now they're just giving us a, one of the coordinates. And um, here I use Desmos again. This is the graph, kind of a neat looking graph. That is the graph of this, this equation. I almost said function, but it's not a function. Um, and guys, if you, if you like kind of turn it, you know, you could see that there's some pretty nice symmetry here. We've got like this line of symmetry. Um, all right, now, since I have this graph in front of me, I can see that for an input of two, we actually have two outputs. Okay, so there is a point on the graph above the x-axis and a point on the graph below the x-axis that both have this, um, this input, this x value of two. Now, you're not always going to have the graph in front of you. Um, and, and I can see clearly from the graph that I'm going to need to find the slope of the tangent line at the point 2, 4 and at the point 2, negative 6. So I'm actually going to get two answers. Um, you know, we're going to have like this, whatever this slope is. You know, our, one of our answers is going to be whatever this this slope is, and then the other answer is going to be whatever this slope is. And I'm just using this in the video to, sh so to help you visualize, but we're going to have to do the whole thing by using calculus and algebra. Um, okay, so first things first. We need to figure out, I just showed you what the two points are because I have the graph in front of me, but you have to we have to figure it out without the graph what those y coordinates are. So, um, all right, so this is what you do. You don't need to take the derivative just yet, although you can, but we're going to take it eventually. But what we want to do first is figure out the two points that have, or any points that have an x coordinate of 2. So, um, to find the coordinates, we're going to plug 2 into this original equation. So this is going to be 3 times 2 to the third. Uh -huh. This ends up being y squared plus 2y equals 24. That's a quadratic. Got to set it equal to zero. Y plus six, Y minus four. Okay, just like the graph, all right? So what we just figured out here is that, okay, need dy dx at 2, negative 6, and 2, 4. 
All right. So if you're only given one of the coordinates, you need to plug that given coordinate into the original equation before having taken any derivatives and then figuring out the second coordinate. All right. And sometimes you're going to have two points. Sometimes we'll just have one point, but sometimes you're going to have two points. So we're going to end up with two slopes. Okay, then you can start the calculus. All right. Okay, so that's like an aside. So now taking the derivative of this, we get 9x squared equals 2y prime plus 2y y prime. And like I said, I would at this point plug in the coordinates, all right? And I'm going to be really clear to my reader over here. All right, so I'll say for dy dx evaluated at 2, negative 6, I'm going to... All right, so I'm just leaving blanks except for the y primes. So here's where x was, so a 2 is going in there. Here is where y was, so a negative 6 is going in there. So this is 36, 2y prime minus 12y prime. So this ends up being negative 10 y prime equal to 36. So we get y prime is um, negative 36 over 10. That's negative 18 over 5. Okay, so at this point, so, so the instantaneous rate of change, I'm throwing that vocabulary in there too, which equals, which is the same as the slope of the tangent line, which is the same as the derivative. Right here, the slope of that red line, oh, blurry, eh, the slope of that red line is negative 18 over 5. Okay, now we've got to um, find the one at the other point. So for dy dx evaluated at 2, 4, 2y prime plus 2 times 4. So this is again 36. All right, so we get 10y prime equals 36. Y prime equals 18 over 5. Yeah. Okay, so, and, and this is, guys, kind of why I pointed out the symmetry. It makes sense that these would be, you know, one, they'd be the same slope except one, one positive and one negative because of the symmetry situation. You know, it's like, it's like you had this, the slope of this line, but then for this tangent line, this was just kind of like, you know, reflected over, over the line of, of symmetry. Whew, okay, guys, so there is that. Um, I, this is longer than I intended, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you visualize, but I hope that was clear. Um, okay, get in touch with me for having any, any trouble that, um, you know, that you can't get past. And I will talk to you soon.